What's up guys, this is Dr. O from Innovative Dental and thanks so much for watching. Today we're gonna to talk about dental implants, help you better understand them, what goes into them, how long they might take to get done, and then the dreaded, I know everybody's wanting to hear about it, the cost, what is it gonna to cost to get a dental implant? I'm gonna to specifically talk today about individual implants. There's a couple different ways to look at implants, right? There's one which is gonna be implants that support a large prosthetic like this, right? That's six implants there on a hold, holding a full arch of teeth. Then there's individual implants, which would be one little fixture placed for one tooth with an individually customized crown and attachment to that. Um, and that's kind of what those look like. These are what we can call an, an individual implant, right? A single tooth replacement. And so if you're missing a few teeth that are individually uh, and you're just wanting to restore those, I'm gonna talk about how we do that, what, those imp what an implant is, first of all, the time it takes and the cost. So let's dive into that. Awesome, so first things first, what is a dental implant? I know a lot of people use that terminology. Um, and they, they might be thinking one thing and maybe they're, they're not getting the whole picture. And that's what I want to help us understand. So generally three different components make up a dental implant. One's going to be the implant fixture. That's the titanium root that goes in the bone, the attachment or the abutment. I like to use the word attachment because who cares? You guys are like abutment. Why do you guys call it something weird like that? But it's the attachment to the implant. It's what gets screwed inside the implant after it's healed or and sometimes initially, it just depends. And then the crown is then placed on top of that attachment. So you have an implant fixture, implant abutment, implant crown. This is where I can get a little bit silly with pricing, and I'll talk about that at the end, but there's three components, right, that make this, this tooth come to life for you and make it natural. Uh, the implant uh, fixture is gonna be what, like I said, heal, the bone heals around it. We're gonna place that first. Uh, typically that can be placed um, within a few weeks of an extraction. Depends on how bad the, the, you know, if there's a ton of infection or there was bone loss, but let's just say three, four weeks after an extraction, it's probably safe, safe to go ahead and place the implant if you had some decent bone to place the implant into. Um, or if you've been missing the tooth for a while, it can be placed obviously immediately. So the implant then is, and if it's a chewing implant, that's important to understand for time. If it's a chewing implant, one towards the back behind your canines, we don't wanna put a crown on it same day, meaning we don't wanna load. We call it loading or immediate loading the implant. If we put a crown on that, then we're risking that you might be able to bite into something easily and move the implant. And if an implant, gets moved, the implant fixture gets moved during healing, it will not integrate our heel in the bone and become solid. So that's, that's really important that we make sure that we're safe when we place the implants and we talk about that, that timing. Now, if we have a decent bite and we're talking about a tooth canine to canine, so it's one that's not really a chewing tooth, more of what we call an incising tooth, those teeth sometimes, if we can get really good stability of the implant initial placement, then we're able to go ahead and put an abutment and crown on same day as a temporary smile solution. It's not for use, it's not for function, it's just for aesthetics, right? It's for uh, looks. And we can do that so that way you don't have to go around missing a tooth. It helps train the gum tissue so that there's advantages to that. But that's the difference between back teeth and front teeth. Back teeth, we gotta wait. Now, how long do we wait? Everybody's gonna have a little bit different methodology on that. Uh, I think a minimum of three months is what most dentists will tell you. Uh, you know, somewhere between four to six is probably the safest range for waiting to load an implant into bite. That way it can be solid, fully healed at that point. So now we've told, told you what it is. I've covered some of the timing that goes along with implants. I promised you I'd get into the cost. And this is where you wanna be careful. There can be a lot of funny business played with implants. Uh, and the reason is, is those three components. I tell people it's similar to like trading in a car. Someone can charge next to nothing for an implant uh, fixture. So you, when you call and ask for an implant price, they might quote just part of it. They're not quoting all of it together, especially if there's multiple offices involved. You don't, you're not gonna get a clear picture of what an implant costs. So in our office, we do it all here and we try to make sure that it's a, it's a packaged price so it's clear to our patients what they're investing in and what it actually costs, not finding that they just were getting an implant fixture fee. Now they need to pay another somebody else, a general dentist for an abutment and a crown. And so I wanna make that really clear. So there's some clinical variables. One is, is it gonna need grafting, right? Is, is this an implant that's gonna to have to be uh, prepared? The bone's gonna to have to be prepared for it? Or is it something we just place immediately and don't need the extra time and cost to get the bone ready? Or is it, are we, are we filing insurance, right? Is there gonna be a benefit plan used that helps reduce the cost? Maybe the insurance is gonna kick in a little bit. 
Um, and then probably one of the sneaky ones is a lot of insurance companies, they have what's called a missing tooth clause. It means if you bought the policy while, when the tooth is already missing, they won't cover it. So it's sneaky, right? <laughs> a lot of people don't know that when they buy a policy. So be, be very careful. Ask about the missing tooth clause when you do that. Um, so I hope that helps answer some of those things about implants. Now, actual dollar amounts, I think that's where you're wanting me to finally answer that question. I promised you I would. You know, it really is gonna range, right? It could be as little as a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars with implant coverage, uh, and your insurance kicking in uh, some money for you, uh, all the way to you know forty five hundred to five thousand is kind of the higher end range, uh, depending on grafting and other variables. But that range, I know, is a large range to replace one tooth, and so I want to help people think through why that's important because I get what people say. I mean, I hear it you know, that people are going, man, that's expensive for one tooth. I see it on the channel. Hey, an implant, the only thing that's keeping me away is the cost. And I would agree to this extent, one tooth is not worth $4,500. And so I'm not into trying to tell people that they should do an implant purely for the benefit of that one tooth. The benefit that I think they don't understand and that I wanna to try to help make sure this uh, the audience, people watching this video, learning about implants get, is that the true benefit of an implant isn't just that it aesthetically replaces the one tooth. It's that it restores balance and order. I sound like Star Wars. Balance and order to the system, right? It gives back this stability of your mouth, which can save you tens of thousands of dollars in the long run. Because when you're missing a tooth, things shift. Your bite doesn't stay the same. And you utilize other teeth uh, obviously, because you can't chew on that one. I tell people all the time, one of the most expensive things you can do is leave a first molar. You know, it's the big chewing teeth right here, first molars, and a lot of people are missing them. But if you leave one of those missing for decades, um, it's gonna cost you a lot of money because you're gonna have to fix a bunch of other teeth that you normally wouldn't. So I hope that that makes sense. Don't think of implants as an investment in one tooth. If you do, obviously nobody would ever do it. It's just too much for one tooth, I would agree. but the benefit is long-term health and stability. And if people are missing a ton of individual teeth, I don't recommend a ton of individual implants. There's other solutions that probably are best suited for that patient. That's probably for a whole other video and discussion, but one or two missing teeth, implants are phenomenal to, to you know, fix that problem. I highly recommend it. It's gonna save you in the long run, especially if you're young and you got many decades ahead, you won't regret uh, going around with stronger teeth and balanced teeth that's saving you thousands of dollars uh, and frustration down the road. So uh, dental implants, thank God we have them. Uh, and, you know, thank God they're wildly successful and last, um, you know, a long time. And I hate using the, the lifetime word or forever. Yeah, we call it the F word in dentistry, but it's the longest lasting dental treatment uh, that we can offer people for a missing tooth. So um, hopefully this was informative. Maybe you learned a little bit about a dental implant, the individual kind. Um, and then down the road, I would love to talk to you more about how we can reconstruct a smile or deal with multiple missing teeth with maybe that implant prosthetic. So thanks so much for watching. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this with your friends wherever you see it. Tell them, hey, you gotta go learn about dentistry, the latest stuff here at Innovative Dental. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and point to this link up here. Definitely watch this guided implant surgery. These are uh, the ways that we can, this is a live treatment on a patient. It took about an hour, you can fast forward through it, but it's gonna show you how at Innovative Dental, we do things completely different. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this here. I'm gonna do a live implant on my favorite patient. It's gonna be my wife. So uh, if, you, if anything, subscribe to the channel just to watch me be sweating, trying to do an implant on my wife down the road here. And uh, I'm gonna do it actually for tooth number 30. And uh, so uh, I'll do that probably within the next month or two. She's still healing up from the extraction and graft. I did last, I think it was November, uh, October, November. So um, she's ready for that, but uh, it'll be exciting. I'll share that live video, but this one's a good one. You'll uh, be able to see how it's done. We use guided computer technology to safely place implants. It's very cool, it's very helpful. I would say if you're gonna get an implant anywhere, ask if they do it guided. It's just it's just better. I mean, honestly, it's, I, if I'm doing it on my wife and I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it any other way, um, I wouldn't do that, I want that on myself, my family, my, my patients, um, then know that I'm, I'm being serious about that. There's a ton of videos, by the way, on our channel about guided surgery. So 
watch those uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. You have a great day. Keep smiling. It looks good on you.